So to start, we're going to energize the system using the flow control valve on top. On the back side, there is a muffler for when we want to de-energize and blow off extra gas. Uh, through the manifold, there's a gate valve going down to another manifold that splits into two different tubes. First one is going to go to an accumulator, uh, which is going to store power, goes to a flow meter, which lets us know where we're sitting at, which is connected to the bi-directional motor, which is going to power everything. Back to the manifold, it connects to a button, which actually connects to the flow control valve, which is going to allow us to change the different behavior of the cylinder. Coming back, we're checking that it's engaged. We turn our system on. Motor looks good, flow meter looks good. And we're going to press the button and notice the speed in which the cylinder returns. Uh, we're gonna adjust our flow control valve and now that we do that, look at the difference in time. It slows it down. Um, so we're going to put that back to where it was. And you can see it is now a little bit faster. Uh, and then we're actually going to open up this other valve. And um, now that they're both open, now it doesn't shoot out as fast because we're bleeding off extra gas. So that is an interesting observation I made. Um, yeah, so now it is acting like a normal cylinder. We're going to de-energize the system and we're done.